how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. So uh, to start, first of all, love this ideal of a startup company where they just do whatever they want for the majority of the day, which includes <laughs> making, <laughs> yeah, hanging out, making, making a Lego set, just, yeah. but when you are not only like playing someone who exists in that world naturally, but is you're also like trying to build these relationships with the characters what was fun for you to get to be in that environment while you were like working with your fellow actors to try and navigate how these characters would interact in that situation? Oh, um, well, the set was incredible. Um, so that, um, that like does a lot for me as an actor where, when, you know, the attention to detail is so great that, you don't have to do too much imagination about where you are. Um, uh, so the meat box set was was so fun. There's like a nautical theme in it. So just noticing like the little details, like little anchors and um, uh, there was this like really cool glass room for the, I forget what it is, um, the motion capture. The, the Oculus looking thing, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then there was like a play pit, there was a juice station. Um, so it was like being on a giant, um, like amusement park. It was, it was really cool. When I, I loved this movie in the, especially because like Lizzie, I wanted her to just defend herself so much every mm. time I was like, just mm. letting these dudes do this. But it's like, that's kind of the journey that we're going on with these two characters are there two people who don't kind of push back at when anyone is telling them no you can't do something when you are an actor and you're playing I don't she's not meek I don't there's not really a word to describe how like this very smart intelligent woman refuses to kind of stand up for her own work but it is one of those things where you're just like oh my gosh I just want someone to tell her no 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 like you're going to do this like stand up and do it for you, what was the challenge of like getting to bring those layers to life within her since she is all of these things rolled into one character? Well, I feel like that's an important part of the film is that you see these two characters who, um, at least for Lizzie, um, she's completely capable and she's smart and she's she does the work um and you do see examples of her kind of at points rebelling against the machine um but I think you know that was very intentional that we see these two young people who are capable who are smart who are sensitive but that's not quite enough to actually get you ahead. So, you know, I think that's kind of the question of the film or what are these things outside of the characters that are preventing them from being themselves unapologetically? Um, what's at risk? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, here's the thing. I want everyone to just go see this movie and not, know anything because I think it is so much fun and there's so many things to think about when you're in the theater watching it especially when you like get to the end and what happens with Lizzie in the end there's I'm like I don't want to talk about it but mm -hmm. I do at the same time because I'm like I want to talk to someone who has seen it or knows what goes on yeah. and do you find that that is hard to be like it's hard to talk about this movie without like anyone having the context of everything kind of going into these characters I, I I don't because I because today is probably the most I've talked about the film in detail you know um like I I don't my friends um uh are in New York they they weren't I wasn't really updating them day to day um on what the movie was about uh so I don't find myself explaining it too often mm -hmm. um which maybe is a good thing. 
I'd be like, yeah, you guys just need to go and see it. Do it. Just go see and it. Then I don't have to explain anything. Yeah, exactly. I was surprised by just like how genuinely funny this mm. was too. Because it was like, yeah, it has like the fantastical elements. It has like a biting commentary on like the world at large. But then it also is just like genuinely funny. Yeah. Uh, was that for you? Like, how was it on set? Like, did you guys get to play around with the comedy of this? Or like, what was the level of which you guys got to kind of all work together to really bring those comedic moments to life? Well, I'm not a comedian, um, but uh, some of the actors on this film are, <laughs> and, and they're very funny. Um, and Kobe was really open on set. So we were able to kind of talk about a scene, do it, and then do a version in our own words, kind of play with um what was going on and you know the 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 scenes themselves and the situation that Kobe is representing are are inherently funny already mm -hmm. to me um so we had a good we had some good bones going and then we were just able to play with each other um so I think we got some nice spontaneous moments some kind of how you'd actually naturally react in a situation like that. Yeah, and I I do also really love like the romance that is in this because it's I don't want to call this movie a rom com because it's not. There's so many moving elements to it, but it does have that. It has a meet cute. It has mm -hmm. like the tension and the confusion, and it has all those elements. Was that something that you guys were encouraged to also kind of play on and like bring that rom com ish energy to Aaron and Lizzie? You know, I never, I feel like I never thought about it as a rom-com, like in terms of like what a traditional rom-com is, like the genre, um, maybe because I just, you know, didn't think about it, but I think right away, I was like, oh, there's a, there's a relationship here. Um, it's romantic, but to me, it really feels like a friendship. Um, so I don't know if we necessarily brought or were aware of elements of a classic rom-com that we were trying to incorporate. Kobe probably did more thinking about that than I did, but I think on set what was important was, you know, connection and then obstacles to that connection, just how we navigate those. Yeah. And I do, this is like the most boring question, but I'm also, I'm obsessed with all of Lizzie's outfits. Was there like, did you get to kind of like help establish her style in this? Or was that something that was like, you know, the costume designer had a vision and you guys just kind of were like, okay, I'm gonna, because the style in this, I, I'm obsessed with everything in this movie. I was like, oh. Like he, it? Yeah, I was like, he made his own little sweater. I'm obsessed with this. I was all Derica. That was all our costume director, um, costume designer. She she was great. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I was only really in the room with her doing fittings for my own wardrobe, so I can only really speak to that. But I think we did have a conversation at some point where, like, the amount of blazers that Lizzie wears was <laughs> discussed. And um, I think at one point I said, I don't think she wears heels um or too many skirts maybe and um Derica just took that and ran with it oh, I love that um for for a last question I, I want to ask so many questions about the end of this movie um for a last question though this what is so fun for me about this movie is it's while yes it is that fantastical element all this stuff it is also about like finding your own voice and not and like verbalizing how it is to exist in this world for like every character has to kind of come to terms with that at some point what for you was the draw of like that specifically with Lizzie and like getting to bring that to life in this movie mm. I think it was it was exciting to to play a character where I didn't know um that she was gonna break the 
act, I guess, mm -hmm. as a way of putting it. Um, and I kind of liked that question that maybe she never would because that's also realistic. Mm -hmm. um, so it was exciting to go on a journey with her um, in this movie a character who kind of is in the process of deciding how much she wants to sacrifice just to fit into the system um so just as an actor that was you know a lot of fun to chew on during the scenes it's just okay is this the moment where she's she pushed she's pushed a little too far um is this the moment where she notices she doesn't feel great about certain things. So that was a lot to, to just work with. Yeah. Um, I love Lizzie so much. I love this movie. I can't wait for people to get to see it. Then I can talk about the ending of this movie. But uh, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was really nice to meet you. Thanks, meeting you. Have a great one. You too.